Our Rangers Santivine. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all of his benefits. It is he who forgives all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are a mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are a Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O oh Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Um, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know. Let us strive to know the Lord. As certain as the dawn is his coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason, I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. It is mercy that I desire and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. It is mercy I desire. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It is mercy I desire. Glory and praise to you, for Jesus Christ. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Glory and praise to you, for Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. Oh God, I thank you that I'm not like the rest of humanity, 
greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Obviously, in the parable Jesus gave us, the Pharisee was convinced of his own righteousness. In other words, he was playing God. I mean, who decides who's really righteous is God himself. And so he's convinced of his own righteousness, and then he's complimenting himself, patting himself on the back, uh, comparing himself to other, what kind, notorious sinners. You know, even today you hear people say, you know, I'm not a bad person, I didn't. I never killed anyone. I'm not a serial killer. I'm not a bank robber. Well, that's good. Well, I'm glad you're not that. But that's that's. But how are you living your life? It's just, so it's it, then you can become feel more holier by finding more people that are, you know, very notorious. The more notorious they are, the better you make yourself look and pat yourself on the back. And that's what he was doing, the Pharisee. And of course, the uh, the tax collector, very humble. You notice it says that the Pharisee wasn't even praying to God. It says he, he, pray, he was uh, pr- uh, praying uh, to himself, in a sense, because it wasn't a real prayer. It didn't, he didn't approach prayer with humility and honesty. Meanwhile, the tax collector wouldn't even raise his eyes up to the heavens and kept his head bowed and, and, and said, Oh, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. He admitted that he was a sinner. The problem with the Pharisee, too, was that and the, a lot of the Pharisees thought they could earn righteousness. In other words, if they kept all their laws, and if they, uh, even with a, you know, the extra laws, the 613 meticulous laws that were added, they, if they keep all those perfectly, then they're righteous, and then they, uh, you know, they are righteous with God, but not necessarily. Jesus looked into the heart, what were the thoughts and attitudes and intentions of the heart. There's where judgment occurs. That is where righteousness is found. It's a, and not only that, righteousness is a gift from God. St. Paul wrote to the, uh, in his letter to the Philippians, he said um, uh, that he didn't have a righteousness of his own. He said righteousness comes from Christ. He's the source of all righteousness. So we pray that uh, we will be like that tax collector with the gift of humility that God gives us and we'll use that gift of humility and know that righteousness comes from the Lord himself and that we are sinners, but we're loved and we're also forgiven. (laughs) With contrite hearts, let us turn to the Lord who Here's our prayers. That Christ may perfect prayer, fasting, and almsgiving offered by the church this Lent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the word of God may instruct the leaders of the world in the ways of mercy and humility. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> that all who are need of heal who are in need of healing may be consoled by God's love and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who come to this faith community to return to God may be filled with the warmth of his living and loving presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may raise up those who have died to live in his presence forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in a special way, let us remember the soul of Ron Coleman, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's pray, O God, our Father, be merciful to us sinners in your response to our prayers. We ask this to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. <laughs> By the mystery of this water and wine, which is shared in the mystery of Christ, forgive us our share of Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It'll become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure, grant, we pray, that in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you who have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. <clears throat> Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and Bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from the evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, so by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this bring you the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us. Receive it. May the sins of the body and blood be received. May the sins of the body and blood be received. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter my roof, but only you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. 
the body comes. 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 The body of Christ. The body comes. Our communion antiphon, the tax collector stood at a distance, beating his breast and saying, Oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. For those who are participating by YouTube, we use our act of spiritual communion written by St. Alphonsus Liguri. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you, never permanently to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May we truly revere, O oh merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Hold out to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance, that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the granting of what they ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the souls. Amen. <laughs>